everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are having a wonderful day in this video i'm flipping through all of my planners for the months of may and june as soon as i can get this dog to be quiet he's barking at uh my cat i guess anyway um so i'm gonna be flipping through all of my planners from the month of may and june in my classic which is my catch-all vertical happy planner, my work planner, which is a monthly and dashboard combined, and then my journal, which is a horizontal. So anyway, um, we'll start with the vertical. And here I, this is the month of May. I obviously didn't get to do my currently page for May, but you know, I don't, I don't remember not doing that. But here is the monthly. These were Live Love Posh stickers. And I love it when the beginning of the month, the first starts on the Monday. Like it just, I don't know. I, I just love that. But anyway, um, these were Happy Planner stickers in the Essential Seasons, I think, sticker book. This was Mother's Day week. And of course I used the Live Love Posh, Posh Party sticker book, the Mother's Day stickers in that. This was my daughter's birthday week, and I had to use the Crafty Babe uh, sticker book, or I think that's what it's called from uh, Live Love Posh. I use the painting ones because she loves to paint, um, and her, their, her and her husband's anniversary was the 17th, and her birthday is the 19th, so um, yeah, this like spread was, you know, very much her. My son's graduation week, of course, I used Posh Party again. Um, and then I made some of these other stickers, like on my Cricut, like this one, this one, this one. Uh, but anyway, he, oh, I made this one. His graduation day was on Sunday, so I had to do a graduation spread for him. All right, now we're on the currently page of June. These are from... Okay, so these these little ones that look like stone, these are from Amber Plans Her Days. Uh, Bujo is sent Bujo something. Um, and these are from Plenty Thing. Um, I have an affiliate to both Plenty Thing and Live Love Posh in the description of my video. If you use Kimberly 10, you get 10% off. But these are really cute. The summer stickers from Plenty Thing. This, um, so these are Mamby sticks. I just put summer down the side, and this is from the Happy Planners. Um, that the newest mega sticker book that's seasonal. Um, so I use the summer stickers in this one. Of course, this is Memorial Day week, and these are from the uh retro holiday sticker book from Live Love Posh. This is my one of my best friend's birthday week, and every year for her birthday, I use sarcastic quotes and sunflowers because that's just her. She loves sunflowers, and really, I mean, she is fluent in sarcasm. Seriously, like, that's, that's all she, when she you talk to her, that's just about every word she says is sarcastic. So, every year for her birthday, I do a sunflower and sarcastic quotes um, spread for her. And this one was this week. These are from Live Love Posh's The Yellow Bloom sticker book. And of course, this, the quotes are from Amber Plans Her Day. Uh, this is Father's Day week. I used the Live Love Posh Posh Party sticker book for the Father's Day stickers. This was uh, Juneteenth week. So these are the florals from Amber Plans Her Day's holiday florals. And then these other ones, like these quotes and like this sticker right here, I made um, on my Cricut. So like this sticker, this sticker, um, this one, this one, this one, I made all on my Cricut. This was Pride Week, so I used, the florals are from Amber Plans Her Day's Holiday Florals again. And then the boxes and quotes and stuff um, are from... Uh, look, no, Happy Planner. Uh, 
Okay, now we're into July. So I'm gonna, th that was my vertical. So I'm gonna go to my uh, work planner. I'm not gonna show the monthly or the currently page because one, I don't decorate them. And two, there's a lot of um, personal information. I mean, this, this has some personal information on it too, but <clears throat> that's all right. So this is um, the goals page you call it for the monthly layout um i used amber plans her day stickers to decorate these but um i use i do a lot of my own stuff i forgot to write the reflection i always forget to reflect back on the week but you know it is what it is or reflect back on the month so anyway <clears throat> and then i um take the pages together and put the dashboard layout in, in between like the monthly layout. So this was the first week of May. These were from Happy Planner. They are seasons of color. So I used like some of the large stickers from the large sticker book too. And then some of the regular sticker book as well. Oh, I can't remember. I think these are from uh, I want to say Kell of a Plan, and I like the, um, Spring Icon sticker book, but then I have a couple of quotes in here from Amber Plains Her Day, too, so, but I really, I do believe these are Kell of a Plan stickers. These are, uh, Okay, so live love, both Live Love Posh and Amber Plains Her Day have very similar stickers. I want to say these are Amber Plains Her Day ones, though, because there's a lot of her quotes, and then I have these, like, layering little things in here. Of course, I could have used Live Love Posh. Nope, these are Amber Plains Her Day because, okay, my cat's on my desk. But anyway, yeah, these are Amber Plains Her Day because of the, I, I got the boxes in here, too. So, yeah, these are from Amber Plains Her Day. I'm sure these are from the spring um, it's one of the spring sticker books. These are from Castetic Plans and a couple of quotes from Amber Plans Today. But I love how she made these like uh, clusters together. But then I made my own too because some of them, like, you know, I just, I wanted to keep that going. But yeah, I love these stickers from Castetic Plans. They, this is the, um, Boho Dreams sticker book. Really pretty. Okay, and that is the end of May, but this is like the end of the monthly layout. So you've got all these like daily task things for, but I use them for um, like to write notes. Okay, so I'm gonna go to June. These are Plenty Thing. One of the summer sticker books from Plenty Thing. I use this to decorate this. Um, to decorate the, the the goals page of the monthly layout. These were from Kelva Plan. Um, these are from like a summer sticker book from like last year, I think. I took what little bit of stickers I had left and made a spread out of it um, because I wanted to do a red, white, and blue spread, but I didn't want to use any of the new 4th of July stickers because I wanted to save them for 4th of July. So I took what I had left. Oh, one of my lights went out. This light gets on my nerves. Like, if I barely bump it with my foot, it goes out. Anyway, um, I took what stickers I had left to keep from using the newer ones to make a spread. So, I did that. But this one came out pretty good. Like, I had enough to make a spread. So, uh, these are, of course, from Live Love Posh. I think this is from last year's summer sticker book that I didn't end up using the stickers for whatever reason. I don't know why. But, um, I mean, there are just so many you can't use them all in just one summer but so i used them this week i really love the the purples and the pinks in this like and then of course i use um jojo's boxes to match up with them uh these are live love posh also i think this is from the plant babe sticker book like i had not used that sticker book in forever and these stickers kind of said summary to me also so i used i used them the, for this week in this sticker book. I use a lot of Live Love Posh stickers. Like, I'm not gonna lie, because it's, I mean, it's my favorite. Their stickers, her stickers are just so great. Uh, these are Amber Plains Her Day. 
Um, I think it's one of the newest summer sticker books. Um, I really like these colors. And this grid washi is from uh, uh, Plenty Thing. She has a lot of grid washi in her, um, on her website. And I thought this purple went really well. This is from Castetic Plants also. This is the um, uh, Ocean Vibes, I think it's called. I really like how this one came out too. This little seahorse is so cute. Okay, that is the end of June in my work planner. So I'm gonna go, uh, this is my horizontal layout. I don't decorate the, well, okay. So I try to decorate the currently, actually I didn't even put May's currently page in here. Um, sometimes I will put like um, a bucket list, like a spring bucket list for whatever month it is or a summer bucket list for whatever month it is. But for the last couple months I haven't been able to take the time to do it. Um, I won't do it if I can't record it and I haven't been able to take the time to record it. So I haven't really done it. Um, and I don't decorate the monthly layout either. Um, <clears throat> I was doing like one of those sticker challenges where you use like whatever prompt it is for the day, you put a sticker for that in the day. Um, but the, the girl that I was following the sticker challenge, she wasn't doing it, but she is doing it again this month. So I've started it for July. Um, but May and June, she wasn't doing it. So, um, and then, I mean, for really other than that, I don't really have a reason to decorate the monthly layout in my journal planner so but anyway these are from happy planner stickers um they there was like these today i'm feeling stickers and i thought those were perfect for okay, anyway so whenever there are stickers like this I, that you know give you like a prompt for your feel what you're feeling i feel like that is a good um sticker book sticker for the for a um for a journal like and then there's what is your highlight of today so stuff like that what are three things you need for yourself today you know I, I I like using stickers like that in my journal but anyway this was Mother's Day week and these are from Live Off Posh I think it was from the one of the spring sticker books it wasn't from Posh Party um these florals are from Live Love Posh, but I think these other stickers are from um, Wellness, a wellness planning sticker book from um, Happy Planner. I wanted to use these because, of course, they they always like. There's a today's mood, uh, today in a word, you know. So stuff like that is good for my journal, and um, I wanted to use the sticker book. So then I wanted to find some floral florals that went with it. And so I think these are from the Orange Blooms from Live Love Posh. These, this is another thing. I think these are from the Wellness War, Wellness Warrior sticker book from Happy Planner. And then of course, I think the florals are from Live Love Posh. I think it's the lined florals or lined something sticker book. Um, but anyway, again, current mood. Um, you know, reasons I'm great, thinking, stuff like that, so. All right, now we're into June, so I don't, didn't decorate these. This was, National Donut Day was this day, so I used um, stickers from Amber Plans Her Days because she has those sticker books that um, are fun national holidays, so I used the donut ones, and a couple of them for, from Happy Planner, too, like all the Sprinkles are from Happy Planner. I have some donuts that are from Happy Planner. And of course, some of these um, quotes are from Happy Planner. This was another one. I think I think this these boxes are from the sticker book, All the Feels from Happy Planner. And I think, yeah, the florals are from one of the floral sticker books from Happy Planner too. This is Father's Day week. I used uh, the Happy Planners Essential Holiday sticker book and then um, some blue from Live Love Posh to bring in some florals. But then I used another one of the older quote sticker books from Happy Planner. I think it was, 
uh, happy quotes or, or something like that to bring in some other quote stickers. Oh, I, I always pop in a page like from a guided journal in case I need more room, but I haven't needed it lately, so I had it in this. Um, this was the first week of summer. Um, for this spread, I used um, stickers from Mom and a Girl with Plans, which is Whimsy Lux. I used that Year of Planning sticker book, the summer stickers in it. I love these stickers. And then I thought that this washi that I have, this like teal blue would go really well. And so the boxes are also from that sticker book also. <coughs> Loved it. And then I figured that using this, like, yellowish uh, pen from Paper Mate Flare would really make everything pop. So, I, I'm, I'm glad I did that. And then we are at the end of June, which is Pride Week. I used Amber Plans Her Days, Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Florals or something like that. Um, and then I also used Pride. I think I used both Pride and rainbow some another rainbow sticker book from happy planner and i decided to do one color each day so i did red orange yellow green blue purple pink and i like how it came out and i also wrote in that color too if you can't tell really cute okay that is it so now that i've flipped through all that i'm going to take May out of my planner. So here is my vertical layout. I'm gonna go to where May goes in. And I'm gonna take May out. And put it back in my planner because I do not have August in here. And I think I'm gonna take June out also. I'm gonna leave the July currently page in there. All right, now I'm gonna go past July, here's August. I have all these sticky notes that go in August and I have nowhere to put them because I don't have August in here. So. There's August, and I like to keep three months at a time. So I'm gonna, since I put May, took May and June out, I'm gonna put August and September in here. Okay, that is my vertical layout. Whoops, I can't get it on my shelf. All right. Now, um, since I since my work planner is a uh, uh, monthly and dashboard combined. I don't split them back apart and put them in each planner. I just put them in the monthly in the planner with the monthly. So I have both monthly and dashboard in this monthly planner, but it's fine. Um, okay, so I'm going to take May out. In June but I'm gonna leave this last couple of pages in here from June because it has to do with stuff I gotta do in July oh, my cat is behind me ha coughing up a hairball okay so here's August I'm gonna take August of the monthly planner and pop it in here, but I'm gonna open it up to where I put the dashboard planner in. So which is after these goals pages. I'm gonna go to my dashboard planner that I use. Every The only thing left in here from every month is just the dividers. Okay. And I pop in the dashboard layout right here. And whenever I go to set up my work planner for August, I'll tape the pages together. Oops. So there's that. Now, 
here is September for the monthly layout. And I'm gonna turn it to the page I need it. And put September of the dashboard layout in here. Okay, so now I can put these back on my shelf. Now, I'm going to go to May in my uh, horizontal. In June, I'm going to leave July currently page in there just in case I end up doing the bucket list for July, which I might not because we're already... Uh, in July and it might be too late to do that but anyway so I'm gonna go to the end of July here August and September and if you're wondering what this is this is um, guided journal. Like I said, I put in sheets from a guided journal. Um, like, okay, I'll put this one in where it's supposed to be. Like, it, this is this week of my journal planner. I usually put it right here just in case I need the extra room to write, but, um, this is the rest of the guided journal sheets. Like, I've used a bunch of them. I don't use them all the time, of course, but, you know, whenever I need more room to write, I use them. Okay, anyway, and right now for my cover, I'm using the the birthday um, cover from Calva Plan because it is my birthday month. So, anyway, um, this is my flip through of all of my planners in my classic for May and June. I hope you guys like this video and seeing all the after the pins and how I've used my planner in every layout over the last two months. Um, like I said, uh, you noticed some plenty thing and a lot of Live Love Posh spreads. Uh, in the description of my video is affiliate links to the both plenty thing and Live Love Posh. And if you use co code Kimberly10, you get 10% off your order on both of those. Um, and also, if you're not following me on Instagram, there's a link to my Instagram in the description. But um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.